Yeah, I mean, there's always that risk reward. I think over the years, it just hasn't made sense based on a number of different factors. But I used to enjoy playing the preseason back in the, back in my younger years, just to kind of maybe take that first hit or feel the kind of the nerves in the first drive. So I look forward to being out there. Um, it was not much of a conversation with Robert. I think he was a little more nervous. I might have said no, but I was already leaning towards asking him to play. So it was an easy conversation. And uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but it would be good to be out there with the guys. And obviously there's been some shuffling around, some, some of our front uh, back in today at practice. It kind of looked uh, the way things were trending the past uh, week or so. So uh, it would be nice to be out there with those five. Yeah, I like Makai. I like Makai a lot. Uh, I think uh, he's a guy that, uh, just like all of us, we all want to feel like we belong. You know, we we want to feel like we're a part of this thing, and that uh, we're part of the group. And whether by his own doing or, or just the way things fell, I think he might not have felt that way. And it's it's normal when you're when you're on injured reserve, and I've been a couple times. It's it's a tough place to be because you feel isolated from the team. You're outside of, you know, you're not maybe traveling as much, you're not in the meetings. Um, so I think it's been a conscious effort by all of us to make him feel like, you know, he's a part of this thing. He's so talented. He's he's humongous, and he's athletic for a man who's 6'8", 350. And so I'm excited about seeing him out there. Uh, he's a big, uh, big teddy bear on the inside, so I've been enjoying getting to know him. Uh, he's a uh, fierce competitor on the field, though, and I'm excited about having him out there. The difference between Carolina and Tampa with 17 being on the field, and I feel like the uh, the difference that we've seen when Brees is on the field is also substantial. He's just a different speed, you know. And, and we had a play uh, in the move the ball period last week where I just kind of drew some up in the dirt. It's something that we have and that we'll get to at some point. But with uh, kind of four verticals and him split out, run a one step slant, and he caught it and hit 21 plus miles an hour and. And he just looks like he's cruising. Now, we had a guy in Green Bay who had similar running style as far as he was super efficient. I'm on green. You know, when he was running, nobody ever really caught him. And it didn't look like he was going that fast. You watch him breeze, and it might not look like he's going like that fast, but nobody catches him. I mean, he's uh, he has elite speed, and he also has got a big old hind end. And, you know, he's he's uh, he's put together pretty well for a running back. So, love having him uh, having him out there. He's a smart guy. Like I was testing him. He's been out most of training camp. And the first time he was in there, I was just to mess with him because he always is giving me, you know, guff and and uh, ripping me about everything from my looks to my age or whatever. So he was in there. I said, all right, I'm going to test this young cat, you know. And he was real sharp on all the adjustments and check downs and everything. So I give him credit for that. He seems to be a pro. Oh, I think it naturally comes up uh, as we go. I will say that there may have been some comments about uh, about me that I, you know I don't know that are true anymore. You know, Kabi said some things about how you know you gotta you gotta watch out because you know eight's gonna snap at some point. I don't feel like I'm the snapping type anymore. I mean, I'm gonna raise my level of uh, intensity, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna you know embarrass anybody. I, I don't want to do that. I, I want to make guys feel like they're a part of this and and they're gonna get that respect and that kindness. There's gonna be accountability though for sure. And accountability is on the preparation. I want guys to to be thinking like a quarterback. I want guys to to remember the little things we talk about in the meetings. If I'm talking, if Hack's talking, if your your position coach is talking, we need to be taking notes. And so we're not making uh, repeat mistakes from from things we've talked about. So that's all going to continue to amp up. That's how the season goes. There's um, there's no do overs once uh, it becomes live. So we we gotta we gotta hold them accountable and, and keep trending in that direction.